Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we fought Gatto, who served as the final obstacle between us and Egil. Then Fiora gained the ability to stop control of face units. This time, after climbing the Mechanus, we are at the Mainith Shrine for our battle with Egil. But before we go on, if we step back through the transporter that took us here in the first place, there is a very small detail that you can only view at this very specific time. You can see that Jade Face is still here inactive. And laying in front of Jade Face is indeed Gatto himself. Each of the party have their own thoughts on this, and after how much of the world we search to find him. Let's see just what they have to say. Gatto, please hold on just a little longer. Just take it easy. I'll keep Sharla safe. Ricky, go get Egil for doing bad thing to Gatto! We must find Egil and avenge what he did to Gatto. The remainder of the party will just say what Shulk said right there, so not everybody has their own unique thing to say to him, but it is just a very nice detail that you could have glossed over should you gone forward a little bit. Now, I want to do some preparations. Vinaya did not sound confident that she'd be able to persuade Egil, so we should be prepared for battle. Everyone in our group has a reason for fighting him, but should it come to this, I think these three have the most reason to do so. Melia, because of the Emperor and because of the fight that her brother is fighting out on Sword Valley right now, Fiora, seeing as that we know now that she shares a body with Lady Maynith, and Shulk being the heir to the Monado, I wouldn't rather have anyone else leading the charge into this fight. I want to fill in the Agniratha Collectopedia. I want to make note here, if you do not have two extra Luisia Silvers, we got a vision stating we'd need two of these, so you need three in total, one for the Collectopedia, two for what we saw in that vision. In addition to this, you want to make sure you have the Agnira the Collectopedia now. You can get these other items at a later point, but if you proceed much further beyond this point, you will be unable to return to Agniratha, so make sure you have it taken care of. You also will get nice equipment, as with any page of the Collectopedia, we have 100%ed this, and as our 100% reward, we get Debuff Resist 4. I personally think that we should outfit Fiora to be a tank. Shulk and Melia are both glass cannons, and Fiora currently has an aggro down gem. Because of that, I think I want to switch her over to these F-Speed Goggles and give her an Agility Up 4 gem because we have plenty of those. With this setup, she should be good at drawing the aggro, and it's just a matter of seeing if she has enough agility to dodge attacks often. On the note of equipping Fiora, though, when stepping through that transporter, she learned a new art, Final Cross. She will always learn this art at this specific point, and this one is incredible. It is a strong ether attack that attacks in a fan shape in front of her. It will also force topple on everything that it hits without the need for a break. Combine that with the fact that Fiora can daze all mech on within range, that's a dangerous combination. You bet I want to level this up to level 4. I'm also going to get rid of zero gravity in favor of it. This attack does draw aggro to you because um, aggro is still generated when an enemy is toppled, only when they're dazed does it not generate new aggro. But I don't think anyone would argue against stating that it's a really good art worth equipping. This is incredible if you want to topple lock enemies. Enough about Fiora though, let's give Melia some love. I really wish the characters would say the same, but anyway. Melia, this is what she is looking like. I gave her the Machina Staff 3, which I believe an enemy dropped a couple videos ago, and I did have some people going like, hey, why didn't you equip that right away? That was really good. Well, like I've said before, I don't want to spend tons of time on my equipment menus. That's why I only change equipment before an important fight or at the end of a video if I feel it's necessary. So that would be why. Muscle Up 5 gem, only really because she might draw the aggro with how much damage she'll be doing with this setup, so I wanted at least something to help, and I had nothing better. And Shulk, I didn't change him at all, but here he is anyway. And that is all in the way of preparations. Let's begin running towards the Mainith Shrine. There is nothing standing between us and it now, after how long of a journey we've had up the Mechanus. We are now at the highest point in the capital. Vinaya did not sound confident about being able to persuade Egil out of fighting us, so we should be prepared for battle. Admittedly, I do not have the best combination of three for a fight coming up. I only chose these because, like I said, I feel like they have the best reasons to fight Egil. And we are prepared for such a fight. Let's go up. Vanea, where have you been? Egil, why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? We survived that battle. We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace, and we still can. The rage of those who were annihilated by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I... 
I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. You are Egil, leader of Maconis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice? Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy, are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the Titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Ether. The base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your bodies. You are aware that Ether is the foundation of them all. Yes. Ether is power. You are the source of that power. All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Mechonis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose, not I. So you attacked Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost, as you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then. You doubt my convictions, my reasons. In order to avenge my people, I have risked everything. Can you say the same? Yes, we can. To get this far, we fought long and hard. And yet, you do not fight me. Your words are useless. It is only strength that can prevail. Shulk, this whole thing stinks, but he's got a point. Agreed. Egil, leader of Maconis. The lives of the Machina and the lives of all that lives on Bionis are one and the same. We won't stop. Not until you realize that. Now I shall finally rid the world of you both. Let's focus on- It has come to this. Starting off our battle, Egil is using manufactured drone. 
He has the unique ability to create mech on on the fly in the middle of a battle. These will fight alongside him and you definitely want to take them out immediately so that you're not dealing with a large group of enemies. But they're not really all that strong. As you can see, I am the same level as Egil and I was still able to take out more than half of its HP with just my backslash right there. You mainly want to get off bonus effects with your arts against these, build up your party gauge, and once you have the chain attack ready, use it against Egil. Admittedly, it's not the hardest fight ever. As long as you keep on top of the mech on that he keeps summoning, and you're able to get off chain attacks at least every once in a while, you shouldn't have that hard of a time compared to Gatto. We have our first vision, Homing Missiles 4. This attack is downright devastating. I'd be very surprised if he got this far without having at least shield level 4, so you should be able to just shield it no problem. But if it actually connects, that will do an insane amount of damage. In fact, I'm a little surprised it's not doing more to Fiora right there. Uh, I cannot do Final Cross right here. I was going to show it off, though, but Final Cross is a bit of a weakness that I didn't go over when explaining the art. It can only be used if you have very high tension, like fire behind Fiora's portrait is pretty much the only time that you'll be able to use that. It also has a very long cooldown time, but most of the time when you use this art, it's going to be in chain attack, so that really shouldn't matter too much. As for Egil's other attacks, we have not seen it, but he does have the ability to inflict Art Seal. Also, interestingly, this is the first time we have ever fought a Machina. Even though Machina and Mechon are not the same thing, any sort of art like Mag Storm or Monado Buster that does increased damage against Mechon will do increased damage against Egil as well. You can also only topple him during a chain attack, so he fights just like a faced Mechon. And speaking of chain attacks, we got one built up. Just gonna get my talent gauge all the way up, and here we go. He just manufactured- Oh, okay, I need to end this now. That is an M91 Eagle, basically a giant dogma. I know Dixon should feel so lucky that an entire Mechon was named after his mispronunciation of Egil. But Fiora's got the final cross, and I want to use that so we can see what it does. This is indeed the very power that Maineth used to seize Egil's control over Gatto. We've used it against him now. And Melio, what are you doing? Just, just stop embarrassing yourself and strike him down! Uh, how could this happen even with the Apocrypha? You know, Egil. You know the reason. Hmm. The power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? And what of you, Venea? You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. Interesting. You're wrong! The villagers and I, we just wanted all this fighting to stop. Egil, all we wanted was to live with you in peace. Nothing more than that. Nonsense. There will never be peace until the Bionis is destroyed. Brother! <laughs> Your blade. It did not cut deep enough. The Golden Mechon. Permit me to apologize for calling you bugs just now. You proved to be a worthy adversary after all. Shulk. I shall teach you just how inferior your kind truly is. You will never defeat me. A feeble attempt. This is a monotonous job. The Bionic lost you their war. Right. You will never defeat me. Alright, I'm feeling it. I see it. Learn your I'm sorry. The future is ours to decide. Try and catch me. We can definitely do this. This is the Monado's power. I have to protect everyone.
prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. Zanza. Uh. I won't let you kill Shulk. You. That light. So you have returned. Our grievances have come and gone. But you are willing to lay down your life to prevent me from achieving my dream. You were the one who said we would live together, Lady Mayneth. Yes. Mayneth, the villagers, everyone loved you. That is why they wish to live alongside you. It's all so clear now. To Maynath and to me. I waited until the day when you would awaken once more and create a world full of light. But you are nothing more than a traitor. To me, to all those who worshipped you, and to our fallen brethren. Please, you have to listen to me. Egil! I will not listen. Your words mean nothing. You have sided with my sworn enemy. And gods can never exist alongside mortals. Mayneth! Mechonis, it is I, Egil, I, your devoted servant, offer my body and mind to replace Mayneth as your new soul. Take my spirit and be reawakened. Mechonis! We have to run! Get out of here! The whole city's gonna come down! <sighs> Shulk! Run where? We have to get out of the city! Get as far away as we can! He's gone. He's not here anymore. There's no time. We have to get ourselves out. No! I have to find him! Gado! Uh, uh. Pull yourself together. Remember, Sharla, we've got a job to do. What's gonna happen if the Maconis starts moving? But... What's gonna happen to Juju and Atharon? Gado's a Hom soldier. He wouldn't have hung around here to die. He would have got out. All right. Right. Now, come on! <laughs> Shulk!